And ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22, check it out, man. We had a patch drop today, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. Uh, I'm, I'm not even going to, let's just get, just, let's just money on the flow. Let's just get straight to everything, man. Like I said, this is not going to be a long video because y'all know this was a, a patch video, blah, 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 yakety smackety. You know, we got a couple of things to talk about, man. But hey, check it out. Bam. Uh, chat, uh, 1.012 uh, uh, jumps out, uh, you know, out of patch 1.9 or what have you. And, and really? When I go through here, the only thing that I'm seeing that is really um, pertinent is the fact that, like, you know, we got general updates and stuff like that. You know, they got some new face scans. Um, they got, you know, just general updates. We got tattoo updates, uh, you know, some stuff like that. But gameplay, the main thing is this right here. The user is now required to press the steal button in order to successfully intercept a pass. Now, I know what everybody's thinking. All of this stuff, very stability performance stuff. They probably look, look, hey, we down to the end of the uh, season now. What we one day left in the season, they probably fixed the joint where where if you if you uh, if the other team forfeits in the wreck, then you go get the win uh, toward the suit and stuff like that. So you know what I'm talking about. Big shout out to them for that because I'm pretty sure they, they they patched that in right right at the end when when you know when we don't need it anymore. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just joking, man. Yeah, hey, man. Don't kill the message, bro. I just be playing. Oh, but then I, sometimes I be dead ass serious, too. But sometimes I, I just be playing, man. Don't take me too seriously. Which I know they don't anyway. Because, they, they, you know, they watch the videos. And they love me. But they can't love me. And stuff like that. So, you know, I get it. It is what it is, man. But, hey. Up next, uh, you know, Bullet, he chimed in on it, man. And he just said, hey, fadeaways secretly nerfed. Now, this is something that I've, I've been wondering about 2K for the last few years because ever since 2K19, when I told everybody that pushing was in the game, and I, I'm sorry about that, right? Hey, that was my dumb uh, fault right there. But I told everybody pushing was in the game, in the in the beta or whatever they put out, and then they it, it seems like ever since 2K19, there's always something that we don't get out of the game until January. 2K19 and then get pushing out of the game until January or you know late after January. Uh, 2K20, we didn't get the explosive behind the back out until January. Uh, 2K21 and then now 22, we didn't get phased out until January sometime. So I don't know if 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 they fix these things in time for the 2K league because it definitely seems like that's what it coincides with. Or do they fix these things on just a time schedule because, you know, they want to leave them in the game, let it be fun. I don't know who pushing was fun for, but they want to leave it in the game, let it be fun, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, we go from there. Um, like I said, I I don't know how that's going to impact the game. Um, Bullet would know because he is a fader. I'm not going to know. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm not going to really know until I see the late first 48 play. Cause he 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 that's the that's Darth Vader from from this from this one right here. Like last year it was Chop was the fade king, but the dude that I see actually fading at the at the really highest level right now, and you just can't do nothing about it. That's delayed first forty eight man. Y'all need to go check his stream out. He probably streaming right now, man. Big shout out to my guy. Yeah y'all yeah, bro. That stuff. Uh, hey, big shout out to my guy, man. That's 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 the dog. That's the fade king, man. All right, up next, man. Oh yeah, y'all know we didn't have a uh, intro right because this is a sponsored video. All right, everybody, I know you guys love fantasy football just as much as I do. And with the NFL season coming to a close this weekend, I can almost guarantee that a lot of you guys are in the same situation that I am. You're watching your team of studs sit on the sideline and just collect dust while somebody else that chose a group of oddballs is going on to the championship. Well, I'm here to tell you all is not lost because FanDuel has a ton of contests coming your way this weekend, including the $1.3 million NFL Sunday Millions Contest, where a $5 entry fee can net you up to $250,000 if you're a first place winner. Now, this contest is unique because you can enter up to 150 times. First place, as I said, gets $250,000, and the slate of games are at 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. So if you don't do anything else, click on the link below in the bio, in the description, or wherever you are. Click on it, sign up for FanDuel, and just get active. And if the entry fee is too rich for your blood, you don't want to be going against pros, or you just don't want to wait until Sunday, still, hit up the link in the bio, the description, or down low. Sign up, and then once you do that, 
Send me your username and I will invite you to one of the private 50-50 contests that we're having for the NBA this week. In these contests, you'll be in a salary cap league with yours truly. You get to choose from anybody that's playing in the league tonight. And best of all, the top 50% of the players in the league go home with a prize. So once again, hit the link in the bio, the description, or download wherever you are. Download the app and let's get busy. I'll see you out there. All right, so check it out. Up next, man. Um, so uh, with with the next iteration of the game among uh, upon us pretty soon, you know, a lot of people have been talking about a lot of things, and one of those things is they're talking about crossplay and how crossplay um should be implemented. I feel like this. This is how I feel. I feel like they should do it. This would be the easiest way to do everything. They should just say crossplay is a next gen only feature. And then you got a next gen console, you can participate in crossplay, and then they just got to leave PC behind. But the only reason I'm saying that is because of this. Laker fan says, You MFs always cry. My bad. You mother be crying, about, be crying your ass off uh, for PC to be included in crossplay uh, for gaming. These dudes on PC don't stop hacking for shit. And it, and every game that and every game that it gets uh, that gets included uh, introduced in the crossplay with PC gets ruined by it. Go cry about that uh, somewhere else. Xbox plus PS5 would be plus PS5 would be a W though. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I agree with that. But I think the way that they're gonna do it or the way that they're setting it up or priming it up is this: it's gonna be an Xbox One and uh, I mean Xbox Series and a PS5 only type feature or current uh, uh, a new current gen. Y'all call it current gen versus old gen. It's gonna be current gen feature and then old gen, you're not gonna get any type of crossplay or anything like that. And so what's gonna end up happening is this. They're just not gonna, they're gonna leave compute the computer or the CPU or uh, PCs. They're gonna leave them on old gen and then that's gonna be how they're gonna resolve it. Cause that would be the easiest way to resolve it right there. It's a, it's, you know, you and, or just don't have crossplay between them don't they make this game for like for like for like all all the other stuff don't they make this game for nintendo switch and all that other stuff bro i don't see nobody on switch crying about like you know they're not gonna have crossplay and stuff i don't think they have to do anything that they don't want to they don't have to include pc but uh what version of this game is on switch is this game even on switch i don't know man you know it is what it is i think it's on switch but i can't I, I, i'm sure it ain't no city on switch let me look this up real quick man y'all gotta forgive me let me see. I, I gotta see real quick. NBA 2K22 Switch. NBA 2K22 is on Nintendo Switch. Like, bro, let me look at. I'm gonna I'm I'm bring up this right here. I, I know they ain't got no city though, right? Like they can't they can't have no park or no city or none of that stuff. I don't know, and I don't have time. Yo, they got the city on the Switch. Oh, they don't have. Okay, so yeah, Switch is on old gen. So. I don't understand what would be. It's not the city; it's the ship. But uh, if the if the ship is on old gen, then you know they can just do that right there. So it looks like they they could already be priming to do something similar to what I'm saying, where you you're gonna have anything that's on old gen, you're not gonna get crossplay, and then you know that'll just leave the two the two leaders, uh, you know, as getting crossplay or whatever. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think now in the comment section, man, because. I mean, that's what I think about it. And uh, last but not least, these season rewards, man. Oh, I hit the wrong button. My bad, guys. My bad. I hit the wrong button. Don't y'all like these transition days, though? God, though. Hey, we should find out the new season for rewards soon. I'd expect by tomorrow or Thursday at the latest. What predictions uh, for the, for level four, I mean, for level 440 uh, reward do you think? That's what I want y'all to let me know down in the comment section, man. What do y'all think gonna be the rewards, man? We already seen jetpacks, tiger lions, and tigers and bears, oh my, and all that good stuff. We've seen the stuff on PC. That's one thing good thing good the PC is for, man. But at the same time, like that's why they not doing what they doing on PC because of that stuff, man. Because you know people gonna hack it, to and then we gonna be dead. But y'all let me know what y'all think is gonna be the uh, be the rewards, man. Jetpacks, blimps, stuff like that. We're gonna find out for hundred percent tomorrow. I guarantee you. And I'm going to be trying to make it to 40 tonight, man. So y'all boys, uh, holla at your boy, man. Hopefully, hopefully I can get to 40. But, uh, you know, we're going to see, man. And uh, last but not least, man, hey, y'all seen this Desi Banks, bro? Desi Banks is out here. Oh, my bad. Hey, look at here. Like, he really, he really out here letting, like, 
<laughs> what is this? Like he got a job at Benny Hunters, bro, bro. This dude is hilarious, bro. But anyway, that's all I got for y'all, man. Y'all let me know if y'all seen that thing, man. And um, y'all let me know what y'all think about the patch. Hopefully the patch is, um, is a dub or whatever. Y'all let me know, do, do y'all like it if the phase are gone or, or what's going on? Do you like it with Interceptor being nerfed? I, I'm gonna tell you the honest truth. I don't think it's gonna make the, the difference that a lot of y'all think it's gonna make. I think a lot of y'all think that y'all are throwing these interceptions because the badge is overpowered, and you're gonna realize that you're you're going to just continue to throw the same interceptions because you are making bad passes with low pass accuracy. That's what's going on. It's not that somebody has an overpowered badge. But hey, now they nerfed it. Now it's gonna be better for me because now I can throw dumb passes over and over but you're not gonna be able to because you ain't got bullet pass on goal like i got you don't got needle threader like i got you don't have any of those badges that i have and i'm an off ball player because passing is that important to me but you know what i'm saying like if you're a bad player you're a bad player man they keep peeling back these layers and peeling back these layers and y'all and a lot of the bad players keep coming up with man if it wasn't for this i would be this and man if it wasn't for that but now you about to realize bro like they done took everything away they took the steals out they took the chase downs out they done took the stuff where you can just go up with the with the dumbest imaginable inside and 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 you know what i'm saying like all that stuff and you're still losing if that happens and you're still losing at some point what point are you gonna look in the mirror and say man you know we didn't dispel the whole thing about uh sniper is what's making you lose i hadn't used sniper in weeks and my shooting percent is going up i'm shooting more greens without sniper. like it's crazy man so we didn't dispel everything we didn't dispel the thing about the about, about things in the wrecks i've been running solo in the wreck for the last week or so, and I've not played even one team when I played solo. I haven't played even one team when I play solo. The only time I'm playing teams is if I go in there with three or four, or if we go in there with a certain configuration that's a comp, comp, the game deems a comp configuration. Like, bro, if y'all just keep moving the goalpost, at some point you're gonna have to say, bro, I'm just losing because I'm not that good. But, uh, you know, we gonna see, man. We gonna see, we gonna be on the night streaming, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I'm gonna to tell next time, until next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, please.